Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today for this tutorial. So today I'm going to do a blue colour palette and I'm literally just going to do a straight pour. Oh, like a wandering straight pour. So I'm not going to just use a cup. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to use an egg box or an egg carton, whatever you call it. So I'm going to layer the paints in my egg box and I'm literally just going to tilt the egg box across the canvas and then stretch it out. I'm trying to find different things that we have in our home, everyday use, that we can use for our artwork. So this is going to be really fun. I've not done this before. Of course, I've done a straight pour and a wandering pour, but I've always used a cup. So I've not used this. Let's see what we can create. Okay, so today I'm using a 24 by 12 inch canvas. There's my egg carton ready to be filled with these paints. I've got five different blue tones, a gold and a Payne's grey. So the idea is to use the Payne's grey and one of the other blue tones on my base. And then I'm going to layer three of the blues plus the gold in the egg cup. I will of course list all of my colours in the description box below so you can check those out for more information. So I'm going to start off with my base colour. Now I'm using a Payne's Grey and I'm selecting one of the blues to go on top of the Payne's Grey. And then what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to layer those two colours on top of each other and just stretch out those colours on the canvas that gives me kind of like a base coat to play with before I pour the paint into my egg box and pour that straight onto the canvas. It's almost like having a base coat before applying any further paint. And the reason I want to mix just two colours together for this part of the process is because I just want to create some shadows and some depth to this piece. And it also allows me to add some paint onto the canvas to allow me to stretch the design out that we're going to place on top. Now I want a little bit more interest to this piece. So I'm just going to use my palette knife and I'm going to help infuse those two colours that we've already layered on the base together. So just in a zigzag motion, I'm just placing my palette knife into the paint and moving my palette knife within that paint with that motion to create some different lines. And when I stretch this out, you'll be able to see how using that palette knife has helped create a different pattern within those two colours. And this isn't at this stage about stretching the paint fully out across the canvas. It's basically adding some paint to allow whatever we layer on top by adding some more volume to help stretch this piece out. So the egg box or egg carton, whatever you call it, wherever you are in your part of the world, is what I'm going to use as my container to pour the paint over the surface of the canvas. So this egg box has six different compartments. So I'm just adding some blues within each of those areas, one by one. I've just split those colours up, so I've got three of the Prussian blue, and three of the Brilliant Blue. And then I'm going to add on top of those colours some of the gold. I really do want some gold within this piece. So I'm just drizzling some gold on top of those blues. And then what I'll do is I will take some more of the blue colours and add those to the egg box too. All my colours are listed in the description box below. So if you'd like some more information on the colour palette, my ratios, my mixing formulas, and lots more information, 
please don't forget to check that out. And if you're enjoying this video, I'd kindly ask that you like it and maybe share it out because that really helps me reach a wider audience. And maybe, just maybe, some other people that might be interested in the art form that I do and the creations that I make will find me also and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much for always helping me and always supporting my vision as an artist. So we have our egg box filled with paint and I'm literally just going to tilt the egg box in one direction and pour it across the base of the canvas on top of those colours that we've already layered and stretched out. I'm literally going to go back and forth as I tip the paint from the egg box onto the canvas and you can see the lines that it's creating. I'm just going to use my torch to pop any air bubbles that are within the paint. So I'm just going to use my palette knife to place within those lines that we've poured from the egg box and I'm just going to add some more lines that's going to create a little bit more depth, it will create some interesting patterns and it will allow me to stretch out a really unique design. So we've done that on the paint that we've laid first of all on the canvas. And now we're doing that again through the paint that we've poured from the egg box. And by wrecking it, we're going to be able to stretch it out and see some beautiful designs and patterns by just using the palette knife to create some really interesting lines. So this part of the process is about personal preference. It's about deciding on what you want your focal point to be and stretching that paint fully across the canvas and down the sides to open up the design that you've created to allow those colours to really pop and shine through and to expand those lines that have appeared by wrecking it with the palette knife. You're looking at the pattern on top and you're looking at how it's transforming as you stretch it out. Don't rush this process. Just do one side and one corner at a time and don't be afraid to turn your canvas round. Have a really good look at what you're doing. Taking a step back and then deciding what course of action you're going to take next. So here I'm just turning the canvas round, mainly so you guys can see it as I create, but I'm deciding what area to work on at one time. So as I pick my canvas up, I'm feeling the weight of the paint, feeling where the puddles are that will allow me to move the paint in one direction and down a side. And then I bring it back on itself to allow me to move the paint into another direction. And then once you're happy with the pattern that you've created on top, ensure that you remove all the drips from the side, just so it doesn't pull your design from the top, down the sides and off the canvas. By removing those drips, you're minimizing any further movement.
I'm going to take you in now so you can see a close-up of the wet version. You can see how those lines have been stretched out to create different patterns. You can see how the colours that we layered on the canvas to begin with, the Payne's Grey and the Brilliant Blue, have infused and mixed with the colours that we've poured from our egg box. And here's the dried version. I really do love those blue tones. And that gold really kind of sits under some of those colours. So when the light reflects or the position of the canvas changes, you can see it really glow and pop through from underneath. I really do love the movement of this one. And it's really so much fun just using some of the stuff you've got in your home to help create your paintings as tools that you use rather than just a cup or a beaker to do a straight pour over a canvas. It's so much fun. So I'd encourage you to have a look around your home and see what you can use to help you create your art. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you've had as much fun watching as I've had creating. And if you try this yourself, let me know how you get on and how the creation went and what colours you used as well. Thank you again for all of your support and I hope I get to see you again in the next video. Have a great week everyone and take care of yourselves. See you soon. Bye.